it is now going to go through each product. As you can see, I'm not using my hands. It's going to select the colors, the pricing, move on to the next product, and then also adjust some of the sizing if necessary. Today, I'm going to teach you how to automate your Amazon Merch uploads using Flying Upload. And I'm going to share three different methods with you. The first one being a bit more manual, but for that one, you don't need any spreadsheets. The second method will be a bit more time efficient and fast paced, but it will involve the use of spreadsheets. However, don't worry, I will leave an example spreadsheet in the description. And the third method will show you how to edit or make changes or even add products to existing listings all in an automated fashion. So the first thing we need to do inside of Flying Upload is create a profile for our Amazon Merch listings. That's sort of like a template that's going to save us a ton of time in the future. And we can do this in the edit window. And all you have to do is drag and drop any image into this. It doesn't have to be a t-shirt design or anything specific. It's just a reference for the profile. And once you've dragged it into here, head over to profiles, profile manager, and select save as profile. Then you'll want to go back to profiles, profile manager, open profile manager, and give this one a name. So in my case, I want to create a template for let's say dark designs in the US market. For this example, you can do it for all markets at once. You don't have to stick to just one, but I would recommend creating templates for darker designs and for light designs. That way we make your life easier in the future. So let's do dark US, hit OK. And now we can click on edit profile right here to actually select our preferences for this. So we can do this for Amazon instead of the Amazon platform option down here. So click on this button and now essentially you will need to go through the different products right here and set your preferred colors, your fit types, and the pricing. So I'll do this for each product in the US marketplace. So I'll start with 1999 right here. If you did want to do the other ones, you could just check these boxes and go in and change the price as well. But in my example, I'll stick to the US. I'll choose all of these fit types, I'll go with black and navy. I would recommend choosing less colors for the profile or the template and not filling this out entirely because you can always make changes to the colors later on. And um, for each specific niche, you don't have to have a template with like 10 different color options selected that might actually make things harder in the future. So I'll usually go with black and navy because that works on most designs that are optimized for dark shirts. And then I will go ahead and click on premium t-shirt, configure that. So let's do 21.99 fit types and so on. So I'll quickly do this for all of these different product types and then get back to you one quick tip for the zip hoodie. If you wanted to have this printed on the back, you've got the option down here where it says front to change that to back print, which is highly recommended with zip hoodies. So that's something to bear in mind. So here we go. I've gone through all the different products, configured the colors and the pricing. As you can see, I'll show you a few examples right here. A couple of tips, by the way, you can also enable auto translate. So if you do want to publish to multiple marketplaces, including uh, the foreign ones, then you can check this box for flying upload to select the auto translate feature whilst uploading. Also, you can actually choose to have your design saved as a draft rather than published with Flying Upload. That way you can always double check for trademarks before you actually hit publish yourself. So that is an option that you've got as well. And the rest right here, the brand title bullet points, this all stays blank because we don't need it in the template. And then all that's left to do is click save in the bottom right corner. Just ignore the fact that there is some errors popping up right here. That doesn't matter. Just click yes anyway. And now all the data is saved to our profile for easy application to our future listings. So for the first method, the manual one, you will want to make sure that your edit window is empty. So get rid of the profile You can click on empty to do that. And then drag and drop your designs into this window. Ideally, you want to have designs that are all optimized for the same background color. By the way, all of these designs right here are taken from my design tutorials on the channel. So you can find tutorials on how to create these in my design tutorial playlist. The first thing you want to do is head over to the Amazon platform options whilst you've got the first listing selected. So click on this button again, and now we can apply a profile to this listing by heading to profiles, selecting dark 
US. And then you can either copy this onto all listings, which definitely works if you know that this template is you know, ideal for all of your listings, or you can click current listing only and then still make a few edits to this template before you apply to the rest. So perhaps your niche that you've got selected right here in Flying Upload is actually not suitable for youth products. So you could then go ahead and uncheck this, uh, go to premium t-shirt, deselect the youth on this one as well. Maybe your design also works on asphalt. So you go ahead and select the asphalt color. I think you get the gist. You can just make a few adjustments if needed before actually copying this over to the other listings. Speaking of, now that this is done, let's hit save down here. Just click yes. And now we can, first of all, we notice that this has gone bold. That means we've now got an XML file saved to our device, which holds the list data and information. So this data in the Amazon window has now been stored. And whenever we drag our design back into flying upload, that data gets pulled in as well, as long as the two files are in the same folder. But let's copy this data onto the other listings by clicking on features, bulk copy, and then make sure you've got listing one selected right here. That's the one that actually holds some data. Click OK. Yes. And now all of these other ones have gone bold as well. So if we open up this one right here for Pi Day, then you can see it now also has all of these products enabled. A few more quick tips. You've got some additional features. If you head over to the features window, go to advanced MBA. So you can, for example, paste the products only to all of your listings. So let me show an example. Let's say we don't want to actually sell the Raglan right here because it doesn't really work for our designs. Then you can just deselect the Raglan and save this. So now it's just saved to the first listing and we can go to features, advanced MBA products to all, and then it's going to copy the same product settings to all the other listings. A few more time savers. You can do the same with the prices with the draft options. So if you want them all to be saved to drafts, you can change that in the first listing, copy it to the others. Same with auto translate. And you've also got bulk file name as title. So if your file names are actually related to your design or to your niche, you can click this button for a quick title. Same goes for the brand name with the bottom option. And the last step to finalize these listings now is to actually enter the listing data. So I'll quickly fill this in with some dummy data right here so we can get these ready for upload. Right, so here we go. I've filled this in with a bit of text. Obviously, it doesn't make any sense. It's just as an example that now these listings are ready for upload. So technically, you could click out of this, get back with the back arrow down here, and then head over to the upload window where we can now click start to initiate the upload to Amazon Merch. Now, there are a few things to note right here with the actual upload because there is some further settings, but I'll go over these settings in a later portion of the video because first of all, I want to show you the second and slightly quicker method for preparing your designs for upload. So for the second method, we're going to use a spreadsheet. And the advantage here is that we've got an easier time with filling in the listing data, meaning the brand name, the title, description, etc. And I've got 10 designs right here as an example, but it works with 100, 200, 500 designs as well in the same way. So we've got a few eat, sleep, repeat designs for different niches and a spreadsheet. And this is an example spreadsheet that I will leave in the description as a download link because this one can save you a massive amount of time. And we're going to use this to import data into flying uploads. So let me quickly walk you through this. So what can we see right here? We've got the image path for the designs. We've got the title, description, tags. Tags are not necessary for Amazon Merge, but if you're using Flying Upload for other marketplaces as well, then you would need to fill in the tags. We've got the fit types right here, the color, brand name, bullet points, bullet points two. And by the way, the description field is just a combination with this formula. I'm just combining bullet point one and bullet point two. And then at the end right here, we've got the colors that are selected for this standard t-shirt. And in this spreadsheet, it's for the US and the British market. But you could also add more to this. So you could do comma DE, comma FR, etc, etc. And then you could uh, drag this down right here, you just have to configure the prices as well. So but for those of you who know how to use spreadsheets, this 
it's going to be a massive time saver. One thing you can't do is add a second product to the spreadsheet. You can only do it with one product at a time, but that's where our profiles can help us out again. So what else can we see right here at the end? We've got the uh, print area. So this is selected to front or set to front drafts and auto translate and the variables and the file names. So these variables, I've written down the different niches right here and they're automatically being pasted into my listing data. So if we look at the title, for example, it says funny, eat, sleep, and then this formula right here inserts the field AL2, which is obviously at the end. And then that way we've got a title that actually says eat, sleep, anime, repeat. And when you drag this down, it applies that formula to all the other columns. Same goes for the bullet points. If you look at these right here, eat, sleep, anime repeat design for a daughter if she loves anime. So again, we've got the formula right here with these variables at the end. So ideal for scalable designs, once you've got your spreadsheet set up, by the way, I've also got the variable in the image path. That's a quick tip. So you don't have to copy the image path each time. But yeah, download this spreadsheet, essentially amend it to fit your designs, your niche, fill in the listing data, and then we can import this spreadsheet into Flying Upload. So let me close this. You need to have it in the same folder as the designs, and then you can just drag and drop the spreadsheet itself into the edit window. And there we go. Now we've got the uh, listing data filled in the types, the color, if you click into Amazon, over here, we've got this standard t shirt selected as well. And the brand name, everything is filled in for each of these listings, except we only have the standard t shirt selected because the spreadsheet is limited to one product at a time. So what we do now is we go ahead and click on profiles, choose dark, US again, if that's the one that you want to um, use in this case, DAC US instead of current listing, we can do all listings as an example, hit OK. And now, as you can see, all product types are enabled for every single listing. You can imagine if you do this with 200 designs, you can very, very quickly prepare thousands of designs per day for upload to Amazon Merch and then take a few days break because it takes a while to upload that many designs. Even with flying upload, you're still going to have to wait a bit, right? It's not going to be instant. But now these are ready for upload. And again, you could go back to the upload window and click start to publish those to Amazon Merch on autopilot. And for method number three, you will need Producta for Merch by Amazon. That's a free Chrome extension. I will have a link to it in the description. Once you have that installed, head over to the products tab, because what we're going to do is use existing listings that are already uploaded to Merch and edit them. And you might be wondering why would we do this? So for example, if you've got some old listings that have been published to just the standard t-shirts on all marketplaces, you might want to push them to all of the other products as well. Maybe you do that because the auto translate feature often gives rejections. So what you can do is just download those designs with the listing data, import them into flying upload, and then let flying upload update and enable the products on those exact existing listings. You can also use this for new products that get added to Amazon Merch. So let's say Amazon is adding phone cases to new marketplaces. You can then download your old listings, enable the phone cases in the flying upload tool and have it run automatically and enable the phones on all of the other marketplaces. So there's many different use cases for this. You could use it to change prices, to enable new colors, many, many things. So what I've done right here is I've selected standard t-shirts on the US market for a specific brand name where I know I've only got these published to standard t-shirts in the US, no other products. So let me select a few of these. You can do it with uh, an entire list of like 120 products if you want to. I'm just going to select a few of these as an example. And uh, once I'm done, what you'll have to do is go to export selected and then choose product with designs Excel. And then you want to save this in a designated folder for that specific niche or the types of designs downloading. So the spreadsheet is saved in my designated folder. But as you can see, it will also save some zip files to your downloads folder, by the way, those all have to be in the same folder right here as well. So once you've got this prepared, you might have multiple zip files, by the way, head back to the edit window, empty this field right here, and then just drag and drop the spreadsheet into the edit window. And there we go. As you can see, we've got 
all of the designs with the associated listing data that's been pulled from Amazon Merch. So everything is already filled in right here. So now what we could do is we could just go to the first listing, enable all of the additional products that we want to publish, configure them in the different markets if we wanted to, and then we could use the advanced MBA feature to copy the products to all the other listings. Or once again, you could use one of your profiles, apply the profile to all of the listings. And then that way, once again, you've got lots of different product types enabled. Then once you save this and start the upload, it will actually open up the old listings that are already on Amazon and update them according to the changes you've made in the edit window. Now, no matter which method you used, in the end, you'll have to head over to the upload window, drag and drop your design files into this, and then hit start for Amazon Merch. There are a few additional settings that you can configure though, which I wanted to show you quickly. So if you head to options, settings, go to templates, and then POD platform right here, if we choose Amazon Merch, we've got these additional ones. So the default, everything is turned off, and this definitely works. Like you don't have to adjust these settings, but they can help. So for example, skip inputs during upload. You can skip the color selection and the pricing selection if you just save a template on your Amazon Merch account that is exactly suitable for your niche or your specific designs that you're uploading. So when I'm uploading scalable designs, for example, I will run the upload once, save the template, and then just check these two boxes. That way it's going to be a lot quicker with the auto upload because it won't have to select the colors and pricing every single time from scratch. You could also deselect the listing text if, for example, you're just updating on an old listing and then you obviously don't have to fill in the listing data again. It's already there. So you could skip that part. Down here, we've got the auto scaling. So flying upload automatically scales and resizes your designs on certain products, for example, the pop sockets, the hoodies, and um, that can be turned off by just checking this box right here. You can also alternatively have custom scaling. So if you change any of these sliders right here, then you can, for example, for the pop sockets, set this to, I think 7% looks quite good or 8%. If I'm not wrong, I might be wrong. It might be a higher, higher scale. You have to check this essentially during the upload, which percentage looks best in your case for your designs. And then you can adjust these sliders right here according to your needs, but that's not a necessity. So I'll just leave everything at the default, hit save, and then let's go ahead and look at this together. So let's click start on Amazon Merch. It's going to bring up your Amazon Merch account. You might have to log into your account first, but there's also a setting within Flying Upload where you can automatically get yourself logged in with the right email and password. But now, as you can see, it's uploading the design right here to our listing. It is now going to go through each product. As you can see, I'm not using my hands. It's going to select the colors, the pricing, move on to the next product, and then also adjust some of the sizing if necessary. And by the way, you can drag this window to another screen. You can have it open in the background whilst you're creating new designs, whilst you're doing research. You can even be inside of the Amazon Merch account at the same time. You can upload designs to a different platform like this runs seamlessly in the background. That's the idea. Just bear in mind, keep an eye on the Amazon Merch account and make sure that nothing goes under review. I would recommend that the designs that you push or the listings that you push with flying upload, be sure that you know, the keywords are safe. But there we go. It's just resized the hoodie um, to fit the full print area, which is super handy. Now with the zip hoodie, it will actually delete the front print and upload it to the back because we chose that in the settings. This is a great time saver and the back prints definitely sell a lot better than the front prints. Trust me. And here for the pop socket, it should use the automatic scaling from flying upload and then change the background color to black as well. If you're still wondering whether upload automation is worth it, then make sure to check out this video next, which is my two year review of Flying Upload, where I share its pros and cons.